friends welcome to my youtube channel dhanesh here today i am going to discuss about uh, euclidean distance manhattan distance and minovsky distance see when we uh, uh, when you understand uh, different types of um, uh, algorithms like especially uh, you know k nearest neighbors and k means clustering we usually use different types of distances to measure the distance between data points the three commonly <coughs> sorry used the distances are euclidean distance manhattan distance and minovsky distance so first of all i will talk about uh, uh, euclidean distance see euclidean distance uh, you are familiar it is um, we have two points the first point p it is x1 y1 the coordinate and uh, the next point this is p1 and the next point p2 the coordinate is x2 y2 then the distance between these two points uh, it is uh, we, uh, we can take it as we can find it out as by the formula in coordinate geometry it is root of uh, x2 minus x1 the whole square uh, plus a uh, y2 minus y1 the whole square when only x y coordinates are given this formula we call it as the euclidean distance this is the distance between two points p1 and p2 it is root of x2 minus x1 the whole square plus y2 minus y1 the whole square and one more thing if uh, the point uh, the coordinate of the point we are including you know x1 y1 and z axis you know there are three axes see this is the x axis and this is the uh, y axis and this is the z axis z axis is perpendicular to both x and y axis we will draw like this so this is z axis then a point can be represented in this three dimensional space by x comma y comma z coordinates then we can modify the euclidean distance formula it is like uh, <coughs> sorry if it is x1 y1 comma uh, this is z1 and here also you will get z2 so x1 y1 comma z1 here x2 y2 comma z2 then distance between these two points p1 and p2 is root of x1 minus x2 the whole square uh, plus a um, uh, y1 minus y2 the whole square plus z1 minus z2 the whole square this is known as the euclidean distance see now we are going to discuss another important distance we use is the manhattan distance i am going to discuss about the manhattan distance see what is manhattan distance Manhattan distance the distance between two points measured along axis at right angles so Manhattan distance between two points measured along axis at right angles see we have two points in a plane the first point p1 it is x1 y1 and p2 x2 y2 see we have the uh, this is our x-axis and this is our y-axis and the first point it is uh, p1 its coordinate it is um, x1 comma y1 the next point it is p2 uh, then its coordinate it is x2 comma y2 then this is the line between p1 and p2 then how we are calculating we draw axis measured along axis at right angles this is see the distance p1 p2 this point we are taking it as um, this is the origin o this point if we are taking it as a then the distance p1 p2 is measured as p1 a plus p2 a that is the manhattan distance so we are the distance between two points is measured along axis at right angles if you are familiar with vectors see vectors in vectors 
you know the triangular law of addition of vectors and parallelogram law of addition of vectors in parallelogram law also the vector addition for example this this is the you know easier concept to understand this for example you are traveling from a point a and you reached b then you went to the point c so here this is this is vector a and this is vector b this is equivalent to vector ac this is vector a plus vector b this is the triangular law of addition of vectors so this is vector a and this is vector b this is you are traveling in this direction then you went in this direction this is equivalent to vector ac this concept only we are applying in manhattan distance so from this you can understand uh, uh, p1a plus uh, p1 the distance p1 p2 is equal to the distance between two points measured along axis at right angles that means it is p1a plus p2a so what is p1a the coordinates are x1 and p2 it is x2 then that means uh, here uh, this distance p1a will be this distance this is p1a p1a should be this is x2 because p2 is x2 y2 and this is x1 so what is p1a p1a should be equal to modulus of x1 minus x2 modulus of x1 minus x2 plus what is p2a p2a should be this distance so this one should be this point should be y1 and this point is um, y2 so what is p2a p2a should be here it is i am writing it here so this i am separating this is so plus i can write it as modulus of uh, modulus of uh, we will use modulus of uh, y2 minus y1 so this is manhattan distance so what is manhattan distance the distance measured between two points measured along axis at right angles that is modulus of x1 minus x2 plus modulus of y2 minus y1 so we covered euclidean distance manhattan distance now i am going to discuss about um, minoski distance so see that is uh, i m i n k o w s k i minoski distance see minoski distance it's a generalization of both euclidean distance and manhattan distance it is a generalization of both euclidean distance and manhattan distance minoski distance is defined for n dimensional space it is defined for n dimensional space minoski distance is uh, defined for n dimensional space in n dimensional space points are represented as x1 comma x2 up to xn because n dimension in mathematics n dimension means uh, see you have x axis and y axis when you have only x axis uh, sorry when you have only x axis this is one dimension and one dimension when you have x and y axis this is two dimension when you have x axis y axis and z axis this is three dimension then you can assume any number of axes you can assume more number of axes then you can assume four dimensional space five dimensional space like n dimensional space you can assume if you uh, this minoski distance is used for n dimensional space in n dimensional space a point is represented as uh, p1 is represented as x1 comma x2 comma x3 up to xn because it is having n coordinates and a point p2 is represented as y1 comma y2 comma y3 up to yn then the minoski distance is defined as minoski distance is equal to minoski distance is equal to the formula is this is the formula it is root of x1 
minus y1 the whole raised to p plus x2 minus y2 the whole raised to p plus x plus x suffix n minus y suffix n the whole raised to p uh, this is the Minoski distance see i told in the beginning i told it as you know uh, it is a you know a generalization of both euclidean distance and manhattan distance when p is equal to 2 in this equation when p is equal to 2 we will get uh, the uh, euclidean distance when you substitute in this equation when p is equal to 2 you will get euclidean euclidean distance uh, that is uh, from the Minoski distance when you substitute p is equal to 2 you will get uh, Minoski distance and when p is equal to 1 you will get Manhattan distance Manhattan distance that's why uh, in the beginning I told you Minoski distance is a generalization of both Manhattan distance and Euclidean distance so that's all about different types of distances we use in different algorithms in machine learning uh, so thanks for watching please subscribe my channel